journey is perilous. These 16 remaining men, the voyage to immortality has been forged in sacrifice, sweat, and determination. This should be very good. For these 16 remaining men, the journey has just begun. Hey, the quarter is in moon. These are so fun. Welcome to round two of the Crusade yeah, Classic. Versus Tommaso Ciampa yes. in a fight oh, between the tag team partners, and boy, did they lay into each other. What a match! We began with a field of 32. We've cut it in half. It's now the Sweet 16, and dare I say, with apologies to the NWO and the club, it's going to be too sweet. Let's go to Corey Graves in the WWE Cruiserweight Classic Control Center. Sometimes the love is rubber. Thank you, gentlemen, and really welcome to round really two good. of the Cruiserweight Classic, everybody. Round one was absolutely crazy. You had different styles and insane maneuvers. Some of the coolest matchups I've ever seen. You got technicians like Zack Sabre Jr. and that Jack Gallagher, okay. the extraordinary gentleman. Powerhouses like Tony Nese and Akira Tozawa and the high flying of Lince Dorado and Rich Swan. The Sweet 16 looks to me like we may just be upping the ante a little bit. Tonight, we're going to kick off round two with a match that is going to set the world on fire, I promise you. The Golden Star, Kota Ibushi, one-on-one -on -one with Charlotte, North Carolina's own Cedric Alexander. But first, the pride of Mexico, Grand Metallic, looks to spoil the comeback story of the Japanese buzzsaw, Tajiri. Soy Grand Metallic, soy originado de Guadalajara, Jalisco, y tengo 27 años. Only about a year, but still. Me llevó ahora sí que con orgullo porque representa a México. Todavía me me sigue motivando para para prepararme más. Look at the agility of Grand Metallic. He can come from anywhere. se maneja un estilo muy bien porque son movimientos que vengo por eso vengo por ese torneo y salir con la con la mano en alto para llevárselo por así que dedicárselo a todo México nunca he estado tan feliz 
ちょっとびっくりしちゃいますね、もう浦島太郎って言ってもアメリカ人なのかんないんだけど。<笑><笑>ですね、多分あのそれはどっちにもあると思うんでもそれをこうしながら戦っていくしかないですね。<笑><笑>最後のなんかあのドバーってなんかこうでっかくやらないと自分の中のプロレスを成仏させられないんで。
beautiful leg maneuver there by Tajiri. Now Grand Matalik with a Fujiwara armbar taking away the post, the base of Tajiri who rolls out and escapes beautifully into a front face lock, but the counter by Metalik, each of these two impressive veterans trying to stay one oh, look ahead at this. of each other. Wow, a grounded octopus there by Tajiri. And beautifully transitioned by Metalik into an ankle lock. He doesn't really have the foot as well as, as he should there. The octopus, of course, popularized by Antonio Inoki, the founder of New Japan Pro Wrestling. There's now a rolling crucifix by Tajiri, just for a one count. Now it's Ren Metalik looking for the pin. Oh, and that was a two count for Tajiri. On drag by Grand Metalik, an 11 year veteran. So you can see oh, Metalik oh, there oh, just oh. a little bit faster. That's where the age is catching up with Tajiri. It's not the power of his kicks, it's, it's, it's the speed. Oh, 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 oh. Spent a decade working in his native Mexico, and as you mentioned, also competed in Japan for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Tajiri actually. Ran his own promotion for a couple of oh, years. He smashes into Metalik's chest cool. with those knife edge chops. And during that time, had a fantastic match with Fit Finley. Oh. Right head scissors there by Ran and Metalik. Here we go. Out here. Oh. Baseball slide. It wasn't what I was. Uh, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. By Grand Metalik. Right to the mush. Metalik started at the age of 17, following in his father's footsteps. Tajiri, a 22-year veteran. Very smart right there, Tajiri, rolling right back out of the ring. Oh, there's one of those buzzsaw kicks. Metalik tried to block it with his forearms, but he still felt the brunt of it. Yeah, see, but that's where age is on his side. Did you see how slick that was of Tajiri? He was outside the ring, he had gotten super kicked, he rolled back in, rolled right back out, and then kicked Metalik right in the face. Man's neck breaker by Tajiri, floats over into the lateral press, cross faces Metalik for a two count. See, and Tajiri's good at stuff like that too. Did you see him cross face him right as he was pinning him? That's not gonna help him with the pin, but that's gonna wear on Metalik's neck as the match goes on. What a the jury's favorites growing up, Ultimo Dragon, Yoshihiro Asai, an innovative cruiserweight, a two-time WCW cruiserweight champion. And as he cinches in the sleeper hold again, Daniel, you will be, of course, reminded of the great Muta, Keiji Muto, when seeing Tajiri in action. Yeah, you know, he is very reminiscent of Keiji Muto. Look at that. What the hell is that? Bridging back with the head scissors. Metalik was bent in half there for oh, a second. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they gotta get rid of him, so they gotta slow it down. I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> but Tajiri was talking so, about how important this tournament is for him, and how this would be one that. last accomplishment to bring his career full circle. You know, he was a three-time cruiserweight champion, one-time light heavyweight champion, he was twice a tag team champion. Oh my gosh! Just a brutal kick right to the face. There's a chop from Grand Metalik. Metalik not standing for it. Tajiri punted him right in the face and he just stood up and chopped him right back in the chest. Tajiri's been in the bully. Now just carrying the sole of his boot into the throat of Grand Metalik, trying to work the referee's count. Metalik turns the tables and unloads a vicious forearm. Oh, those elbows are in there. Who says cruiserweights can't throw haymakers? We're seeing some vicious striking here from both Tajiri and Grand Metalik. Springboard! Oh, I thought he was going to catch uh, Tajiri's got to watch out here. Metalik loves to fly. Known as El Rey de las Cuerdas, the king of the ropes! Some of the crowd here at Full Sail University to their feet as he Let's takes Tajiri off his. Have you seen anything like that? A tight rope wall by Metalik right to a, a twisting senton onto Tajiri on the floor? I've never seen anything like that. Amazing aerial assault by Grand Metalik, and yet 
to Jury Quick to use those educated feet of his to try to get back into this matchup. Dragon screw leg whip over that middle rope. And that could tear the tendons in the right leg of Tajiri as Grandma Malik looking to capitalize. What's he going to do here? And I again. don't walk in again. The diving elbow drop. This has got to be it. Oh, Just my God. Like the rapper designer, he is macho like Randy with that Randy Savage-esque elbow drop in. Tajiri still in the Too match. Too Despite oh, this brutal assault from Grandma Malik. Reversal on the Irish whip. Springboard back elbow. Grandma Talik looking for the win. And to cheer him in a world of hurt here. And this is again where Metalik Daniel wants to capitalize on his youth, his quickness, his agility and speed. Yeah, and that was a great cover by Metalik. You man. notice how he pulled back both of his legs. That really puts uh, pressure on the wind pipe there to Jiri. To Jiri. Momentarily in a fireman's carry, series of back elbows. Grandma Delique with a standing switch, waist lock, and Tajiri now going to the well of those back elbows. Oh, Any second, Tajiri can kick you in the face, and that's what Metal League has to watch out for. You can see the toll taken on Tajiri here. Tajiri, a veteran of tournaments, in fact, competed in Japan in the best of the Super Juniors tournament, hoping to advance to the quarterfinals here tonight, but in tough against Grand Talik as he hangs him up in the Tree of Woe. Yeah, this is not a good place for Metalik. I grew up watching Tajiri do this to people like Super Crazy and Jerry Lynn. Mid drop kick right to the head of Grand Talik. Tajiri known for that legendary rivalry with Super Crazy and ECW looking for the win and Grand Talik kicks out. That Ali just 27 years of age but already a decade plus of experience. Not only in his native Mexico but around the world looking to make a huge statement here in the Cruiserweight Classic. Yeah, he's no stranger to the Japanese style. And it's showing here. Has he ever done a powerful ball? Start to the second round of the inaugural Cruiserweight Classic here on the WWE Network. Metalik looks laid out there, just getting dropped on the back of his neck, setting up for the buzzsaw kick. Grand Metalik. Oh, directly into a submission. He is wrenching on his neck, got his arms pinned behind his back. Metalik is in trouble. Metalik using his own foot to try to break the hole, trying to escape the submission attempt by Tajiri. Barely got out of that. Less number guys would have never been able to do that like Metalik did. It's so many going highlights going already. Yeah. There's that buzzsaw roundhouse kick by Tajiri. Oh we saw the corkscrew somersault sent on bomb. One of the patented maneuvers of Grand Metalik, and it may take something like that. He's got him in the fireman's carry. There it is, the Metalik screwdriver. And Grand Metalik advances to the quarterfinals. I'm disappointed. Jerry's power bomb here, just catching Metalik out of the air. And look at this beautiful submission. The only way Metalik got out of that was kicking Tajiri in the face. And this is the end of the road for Tajiri. Metalik gets him up, and then big Metalik driver for the one, two, three.
unmanned by Kateri and Grand Metal League. I mean, that's the stuff I love about Cruiserweight action. And there is the tremendous sign of sportsmanship that is endemic to this tournament. As Tajiri, who knows, maybe a symbolic passing of the torch there, Daniel, as Grand Metal League representing Mexico becomes the first competitor to punch his ticket to the quarterfinals of the inaugural WWE Cruiserweight Classic. round two of the Cruiserweight Classic. I'm Corey Graves, holding it all down here in the CWC Control Center. And guess what? I've got great news. It is main event time. The man who left the WWE Universe in awe in week one of the tournament, the high-flying Cedric Alexander, looks to conquer many people's favorite, including my own, to win the entire tournament. The golden star from the land of the rising sun, Kota Ibushi. Who's going to join Grand Metallic in the quarterfinals of the tournament? Let's find out. 